Well, if you find yourself sparring with your teen, like the parents in the movie This Is 40, psychologist Lisa Demore says, don't panic. That's because fighting can be an important part of your child's development. This morning on the New York Times website, Demore writes that how conflict is handled at home can impact a teen's mental health and the quality of their relationships. She's the author of Untangled, Guiding Teenage Girls Through the Seven Transitions into Adulthood. Lisa, welcome back to Studio 57. Thank you for having me back. Yes, well, it's great to have you here. What a great article. And I like what you say in this. You say good fights happen when teenagers consider arguments from both sides and bad fights happen when they don't. So how can conflict with teens be a good thing? Well, what we see is conflict comes with the territory with teens. Anyway. So you have to accept that it's going to happen. And what we know is that it can become the training ground for helping them see things from multiple perspectives. And that's what we want our teenagers to be able to do. Mm -hmm. And when we look at conflict, we actually see there's four different types. It sort of sorts itself into categories. Three that are not so good and one that is much better. So there's attacking, where everybody gets ugly. There's withdrawing, where people refuse to engage. Mm -hmm. There is um, complying, where somebody just gets, gives in to make it stop. And then those are the three not so good ones. And then the good one is problem solving, when people can try to come together and say, Here's how I think you might be seeing it. Here's how I might be seeing it. How can we use that to come to a better <laughs> you know, resolution? This yeah. sounds so good when you're just sitting here and you're just yeah. outlining. And then, and then there's this yeah. and then there's that. But in the heat of the battle, Lisa, yeah. you are mad. Absolutely. And, you just, Absolutely. and then you say something and then you're off to the races. Absolutely. So how do we tap that down on both sides? Well, I think often we can't. You know, I think sometimes, you know, stuff gets said that you didn't mean to say. You need to actually sort of let everybody separate and cool off. And then I think it's incumbent upon the parent, usually, to come back and say, I really don't like the way that went down. That got ugly and I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Here's where I'm coming from. Can you walk me through where you're coming from? Mm -hmm. You know, and it won't happen every time and it can't happen every time. But what we know is that can be valuable. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just love the idea of just saying to your teenager, can you walk me through where you're coming from? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, and they might roll their eyes. Yeah, like, but again, where are you coming exactly. from? That's right. Exactly. That's right. Because I would yeah. always say, look, I want to hear your opinion, but yeah. at the end of the day, I'm going to make the call. Yeah. But it's not a democracy. The yeah, you're Gail's the boss. What? But even to say that, I want... The your yes. children aren't bossing you around No, no, house. but I'm saying, yeah, Gail is a great mom. I mean, yeah. she has no, great but, kids, but right. But, but it, somebody has to make the call. Absolutely. I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's the parent's job to have the yeah. rules. But what you said about, I, I want to hear your opinion, opinion. Yes. Yeah. a lot of yeah. parents aren't getting there. Mm -hmm. And what we see is that when parents can get I there, get things yeah. go better. I get yeah. that. Yeah. You know, I thought you said, too, yeah. teenagers who cannot resolve arguments at home often have similar troubles in their friendships and love lives. Yeah. I mean, I think the way we have to think about it is home is a training ground. Yeah. And how we conduct our relationships at home does spill over into how teenagers conduct their relationships elsewhere. Okay, what happens when your teenager goes into their room and slams the door? Well, that is often the outcome of the beginning of a yeah. fight. And I think we all want to get past the slam door. And I think that that's an impasse and we need a new way in. And so I think to let things settle down and say, you know, when you're ready to talk, I'm ready to talk. Well, and you then you say, don't you ever slam the door again in my house. <laughs> you yeah. can say that. Well, you say, Absolutely. You say fighting is inevitable, so how do you know when it's a problem? And okay. somebody raised an interesting question to me recently. Why should I care what they think? Oh. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so, those <laughs> yeah. are, so why should we Cue care the Chris Lick cam. Yeah. Cue the Why what should we, we care what they say? Oh, no. You did not say that, Chris. You did not say that. So, but address oh, no. that one, and then... Let me address that but one. But there are parents who feel that way. I've, there I've are. seen them. And what we know from the research is that parents who are willing to walk around in their teenager's mental shoes mm -hmm. get teenagers who are willing to walk around in the parents' mental Got shoes. I love that. So that's why. I love that, too. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Okay, but when is it a problem? Right, so there are these really great researchers who study the parent-adolescent relationship, and they have this terrific quote, which is, disagreement is common, serious conflict is not. Uh -huh. So if you are getting knocked down, drag out all the time, and there's never any productive outcome, if you're jumping on a kid's back, as shown in the clip, yeah. right, probably <laughs> things are not going well, and that's probably when support is in order. I have when, one last quick question. Things in. What is it they want? What is it they want? You know, I think in any given moment, it can be any variety of things. I think that what's really hard is that it's hard for teenagers to maintain perspective. Can, so just someone off camera just said, when Charlie said, what is it they want? In the case of teenage boys, it's <laughs> what they want. <laughs> right? Yeah, probably. That's yeah. probably not what they're fighting about with their folks. That's yeah. right. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. But Very good, Lisa. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Just getting really commentary. Good. We're, you know, open to all commentary. Yeah. All right. You are watching CBS this, this morning. morning. We'll be right back.